Okay, in your final delta mass section, you do have some of these equations with variables on both sides. So the process I gave you was first simplify. In this case, neither side needs to simplify. Then move all the variables together. So I don't like this minus 4x being over there. So I'm going to add 4x to both sides. That'll cancel. And then remember, that's an understood negative 1. So uh, minus 1x plus 4x is a 3x minus 8 is equal to negative 23. Sorry, my marker is wanting to be a little sloppy. Then I need to uh, go ahead and try to get x by itself. So I'll add 8 to both sides. And that gives you a 3x is equal to, uh, in this case, you have a positive and a negative, so they're going to subtract. They're going to cancel each other out. So that's going to be a, I think, 14. actually 15. So that's going to give you a, um, that's negative, that's positive, so that's a negative 15. You always have to go with the sign of the larger number when you're adding or subtracting. And then I divide off this number in front of the threes multiplying by the x, so divide both sides by three. And I get x is equal to negative five. x is equal to negative five. I think we'll probably try one more of these. Okay, on this one I have several options and you might choose to solve it a little bit differently than I do. But I always like to keep my x as positive if I can. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to subtract the six x. If I would have had something negative like I did on the last problem, I would have added to get rid of that. But in this case, they're both positive. So I usually subtract the smaller one. So that gives me a three x plus three equals a negative 12. Now, once I have 3x plus 3 equals negative 12, I'm ready to try to get the x by itself. Actually, I've totally messed that up. Uh, my 3x should be over there. I don't know what I was thinking for a second there. Y'all were probably saying, hey, what in the world is going on with him? Well, so I'm going to rewrite this more neatly over here. I should have had a 3 equals 3x minus 12. Sometimes I can't write and talk at the same time. I'm sorry. So now what I'll need to do is get x by itself. So I'm going to need to add 12 to both sides of my equation. So if I add 12 over here, I also have to add 12 over here. That gives me 15 is equal to 3x. And then since I have a coefficient uh, that is in front of the x, that's the last thing I take care of is the number right in front of the x if there is one. And then that's going to give me x equals 5. Now, if you would have chosen to subtract 9x from both sides, you would have ended up with the same thing. You eventually probably would have had a negative 3x equals negative 15, and you would have divided both sides by negative 3 and gotten the same answer. I just prefer to solve it in a way that I don't have to deal with as many negatives. It gives me a little less to write and a little less to lose and a little less to think about. Um, but if you got any questions on this, please reach out to me via Zoom and email. I hope these videos helped you with your Delta Math assignment.